Our next story is from Europe. Its energy crisis is getting worse by the day. Electricity bills are soaring, gas reserves are depleting and winter is coming. As the mercury dips, gas and oil consumption is going to pick up. But Europe does not have enough supplies. Russia is withholding them to gain an edge. So what is Europe doing to stave off the crisis? It is slashing energy consumption. Germany has switched off streetlights. France has banned illuminated billboards. Italy has extended the life of coal power plants. Spain has limited air conditioning at airports. Here's a report. These images are from Berlin, the capital of Germany. Once illuminated with spotlights, today it's a desolate spectacle. The lights have been dimmed. The monuments have gone dark. This is Berlin trying to stave off the energy crisis, escape the troubling reality of depleting reserves. Before the war was started, 55% of Germany's energy supplies came from Russia. As of June 2022, the supplies had been reduced to a meager 26%. As winter approaches and the war intensifies, the supplies are expected to fall further. And Germany is yet to find a concrete alternative. So to survive the dip in mercury and hold on to its gas reserves, Germany is undertaking a raft of measures. They include a ban on heating private swimming pools, a ban on heating at some public buildings, lowering the minimum office temperature to 19 degrees Celsius and switching off most street lights. Same story in France. Declining gas supplies from Russia have led to a colossal spike in energy bills. The French government has unveiled a series of initiatives to tackle this. By October this year, French supermarkets will switch off illuminated billboards. Retail spaces will reduce lighting by 30% and shops will lower temperatures to 17 degrees Celsius. In Italy, where elections are due in September, the authorities are treading carefully. Their energy savings plan includes steps like extending the life of coal plants, temporarily halting work at factories and shortening heating hours at workplaces. In Spain, which is not as dependent on Russian energy supplies, the reserves are being safeguarded in case the war spills over. How are they doing this? By limiting air conditioning at airports and train stations, requiring shop doors to be closed when the AC is on, switching off lights on shop windows at night, and limiting heating at schools and hospitals. These four countries are not alone. They're joined by several others in reducing energy consumption. Like Switzerland, Finland, Sweden, Denmark, the Netherlands, Austria and Greece. All these countries have either lowered indoor temperatures, mandated the use of public transport, asked offices to lower thermostats, or dimmed lights to avoid blackouts. The measures have so far been uneven, but the urgency is growing as prices rise. By the time the winter arrives, they plan to cut gas consumption by 15%. Bureau Report, We On, World is One. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.